Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Hacker 101. All right, so today we're going to talk about proxy chains, how to find proxies, how to verify a proxy, and how to configure proxy chains. If you don't know, proxy chains is a tool that's built into Kali Linux that you can use to hide your real IP address using a proxy or multiple proxies. All right, but before we begin, I want to make sure you guys know, watch this video from the beginning to the end because if you don't you may miss a step and then you may not get it right so watch it from the beginning to the end all right so first thing i'm gonna do i'm gonna load up cali linux we're gonna look at a couple of websites the first website that i like to look you know to look for proxies is github github has lots of repositories where you can find proxies so let's load up firefox and we're gonna go to github And then when you get on GitHub, just type in free proxies list and hit enter. And you're going to find a bunch of repositories. Like, look, there's 202 repositories of people that have, they're updating proxies daily, hourly, and so forth. So I'm going to pick one of them. This one I've used before. Let's click on this list. All right. So he's got a couple of different text files here. Files here. One's HTTP, SOX4, SOX5, and you're probably asking yourself, what are the difference? All right, it's really just the protocol that's being used for the proxy. HTTP, port 80, you know, you got SOX4, SOX5. SOX4 is older than SOX5, but, you know, they're, one's not better than the other, in my opinion. Matter of fact, I like SOX4 proxies, and I like HTTP proxies. So let's just click on SOX4's, SOX4.txt file. And this is what a list of proxies is going to look like. You're going to have the IP address, semicolon, or, and then the port number, just like so. Um, you're going to find you a list like this, and we're, we're going to just grab, let's, let's highlight about 100 of them, because we're going to check them to see if they're any good and find the best anonymous proxy. Let's select about 100. There we go. Copy that. And then let's go, go to Google. And then we're going to type in free online proxy checker. And from here, I'm going to click on online proxy checker. This first one, hide my dot name, which I've used before. Scroll here. Paste in your list. I'm going to uncheck non, I don't want to see any non-working proxies or proxies that were not checked. So I don't really want to see the ones that are working. Let's click on start checking. This, oh, we got 101 in there. So let me just take one of those out. All right, start check again. There we go. Sorry. Okay. All right, so what it's going to do is going to go through all those 100 proxies. The software, this hide my dot name application is going to connect to the proxy. Check, it's going to check the IP address, the port number. It's going to tell you what country and city, how fast the proxy is, and what type of proxy, and whether or not if it's an anonymous proxy. An anonymous proxy, in most cases, this is a, a proxy server that does not log their traffic, so they don't log it when you log to log on to that proxy server um, that's not to say that that's 100 percent true but that's the use of the case all right so our scan is complete here i'm going to look at proxies that have this i'm going to pay attention to speed like i like proxies that are usually 200 milliseconds or less and i want them to be anonymous so i'm going to go through this list here i'm going to find highly anonymous proxies that have a low ping and then i'm going to compile those into a list that I'm gonna to use to configure proxy chains. And when you make your list here, you need to copy the IP address. You wanna copy the port number and the type of proxy, right? HTTP, this is HTTP proxy. Make yourself a list, and then once you have that list, then we're gonna go into proxy chain. Go ahead and grab yourself just, you know, two or three different proxies, and then let's go into the terminal. And then we're going to configure proxy chains in a config file. So if you don't know where it's located, it's in Kali Linux as current Kali. It's under the Etsy 
proxy chains for dot comp files where we're going to configure proxy chains. So we'll do sudo nano rvi etsy proxy chains for dot comp, open that file. And by default, this is configured for strict chain. Each connection will be done via chain proxies, all proxies in the chain order as they appear in the list. All of them must be online and working, right? If they don't, then this this stops, right? It, the proxy doesn't doesn't work. We don't want that because we may have some proxies that may time out or whatnot. So let's just uncomment that. Then you got round robin. That's going to randomly pick a proxy from your list. I like the first one, dynamic chain. That's going to go through our proxies one by one. And, and if the proxy works, great. If it doesn't, it's going to skip over to the next proxy and then go on, on down the chain, right? So we'll select, we'll uncomment dynamic chain and we'll put a pound sign in front of strict chain to comment it out. Scroll down. Here's another important um, option here. It should be uncommented by default. You want, you want to proxy your DNS request. That way you don't accidentally leak your real IP address. And then if you scroll to the bottom of the list here, you're going to see where it says the SOX4 proxy. This is where you're going to add your proxy list, right? And you're going to do them just like in the example here. You see we got, you're going to put the type of proxy, the IP address, the port number. And if you're using a proxy that has a username and password, you put username and password. And and so forth like if it says SOX5 you'll put SOX5 or HTTP or SOX4 remember in the list I told you to write down what type of proxy and so this is how the format you'll use all right so this first one that's added this is for Tor we're not going to configure Tor in this video but you can use proxy chains with the Tor also we're going to comment that out for now and I happen to have a couple of proxies in here already um, HTTP proxies so I got HTTP, which is the type, the IP address of the proxy, and then the port number that it's using. All right, so I'm going to save that. Control X, yes, save. All right, so now how do you use proxy chains? Okay, so if I want to use Firefox and have Firefox run through these proxies, I would type in proxy chains, and then I'll just type in Firefox. And that's going to open up Firefox, and all the traffic from Firefox is going to go through those proxies, right? Let me just open up the window here because I want to show you. See? See, all the requests are going through. Here's our first proxy IP address. All the requests are going through the chain, right? There's only one proxy. So let's just go to example say, what's my IP.com, right? Okay, all right, it says, it shows me my proxy's IP address right here, right? And it says that I'm in Germany. Guess what? I'm not in Germany. <laughs> so, all right, so that's, I have hidden my identity, right? Well, maybe, maybe not. You, you've hidden your identity from your target from this website. They don't know what your IP address is, your real IP address is, but this proxy that we use, that we have configured here, your real IP address is logged on that proxy server, right? So you, that's why you want to make sure it's anonymous. But to be extra cautious, if you want to make it even harder for somebody to find your real IP address, we can add an additional proxy. That way, if someone were to investigate what you did on a web server, for example, um, not that I encourage that, but if they want to investigate and find your IP address, they're going to find the first IP address of the proxy server then they're going to find your second proxy server's IP address and so on. So, you know, it would be, it would make it harder for somebody to find you because they would have to reach out to the owner of this IP proxy, which is in Germany, and ask them, you know, for the log files to give up your identity. So the idea here is the more proxies you add, the more difficult it becomes to identify who you are. Okay, so that's proxy chains with one proxy. So let's go ahead and close. I'm going to close Firefox. And then I'm going to open up my config file again. I'm going to scroll to the bottom. And I'm going to uncomment my second proxy. All right. So now, whenever I make a, a request like, say, Firefox or NMAP, it's going to connect to the first proxy. And then from the first proxy, it's going to connect to the second proxy. And then from the second proxy, it'll connect to the target, right? Our website that we're scanning or 
you know, trying to hack into or whatnot. So let's go ahead and save that, close it. All right, so for this example, I'm going to do, do an in-map scan. That way I can show you a little better how the proxy chain works. And I have an IP address here that I'm going to scan. So I'm going to type in proxy change. You always got to type in proxy change before the application you're using, whether it be Firefox or in-map. I'm just going to do an in-map scan of this IP address right here. I'm going to hit enter. And if you notice, look, the chain here connected to my first proxy. Then it connected to my second proxy. And then it connected to the target, right? And it says, okay, all right, I found port 80 is open. The ones that say denied, those are because those ports are not open. So it's scanning and it's going to check. It's doing a port scan like any other regular in-map scan. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and just stop the video or stop the scan. And I'll explain it. So the first one, the port 80 is open. The ones that say denied, those ports are closed. We look down here, port 80, it found port 80 again. Then port 443, it found port 8080 is open and so forth. I could have continued to let it scan. It would have found other ports that are open. But the important thing to take away from this is the chain, the proxy chain. It connected to the first proxy server in our list, and from there it connected to the second proxy in our list. And then from there it connected to the target. Right? So if this person on this IP address, our target, our, you know, whoever we're trying to hack or doing a security audit, if they want to know who we were, they would have to go and contact this proxy server owner and say, hey, do you have the log files of who had this IP address on such and such date that they scanned my site? This owner can give up the log files, and then if they did, then it would show this server's IP address. But then that person's got to go back to this company and ask them, you know, who's the originating IP? And if you got multiple proxies, then that becomes a headache, right? So it's not 100% anonymous, but it does make it difficult for you to, you know, for someone to find your real IP address. But all right, so that's it. That, that's proxy chains in a nutshell. It's pretty easy to use pretty easy to configure. I'll show you guys how to find proxies, how to check the proxies, and then how to configure the proxies. And I hope I gave you a good description on how the proxies work and whatnot. So um, I encourage you to read up more. If you have any comments, leave them in the comments below. Um, if you have any questions, I'm glad to answer them. And make sure you subscribe and get ready for the next video. Alrighty, thanks.